What's up everybody, it's Lawrence again, and today I am here to review my second Air Max 270. Uh, there have been, I believe, three iterations of the Air Max 270 that have been released. If there are any more and I have forgotten about it, definitely let me know in the comments. Uh, but there was an Air Max 270 with a mesh material that was released. Uh, I have a link to that review down below in the photo blue colorway that I have and I love. There is a Flyknit version that uh, I tried on at the store and I didn't absolutely love it. Uh, usually Flyknit is, is one of my favorite knit materials and most comfortable, but there's something about that shoe uh, on the tongue that I really didn't like when I tried it on, so I never bought it. Um, and then finally, there's this new premium version made out of leather, which I think is interesting. And uh, that just got released, I, I think, in the last month, but I was just browsing Nike.com and, and I saw them, and I think they look pretty sweet, and so here is the review. All right, so before we begin, definitely hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up for this video if you liked it. Would really, really appreciate it. And here they are, the Air Max 270 Premium in String and Desert Ochre. So there are four materials on the shoe on the upper. First is you're gonna have this grayish, almost olive gray type of perforated leather. Then you're going to move over to the side over here, which has a suede olive piece, which I think is interesting. Uh, and it feels pretty smooth to the touch. Then you have a nylon piece over here that's kind of done in a burnt orange type color. And then finally on the rear where the heel is, you're going to have this pebble leather that runs throughout the shoe on the backside. The leather quality on these are pretty good. Uh, I would actually, it's exceeding my expectations in terms of what they are, especially kind of the suede. The suede feels pretty good. Uh, on the medial side, it's also a different type of feel. And so the gray leather is significantly smaller and then you have a larger panel of the olive perforated leather that does not exist on the lateral side. There is two different embroidered pieces on the medial side, and so one says air, the other says 270. Going to the middle of the shoe, you're going to see the embroidered swoosh right there. Moving to over to the eyelets, you're gonna have these metallic plastic eyelets, which is kind of a nice touch, and then you have nylon to hold the, the laces together. On the tongue itself, it's done in a nylon mesh that's in the middle, so it's actually padded. And then on the very top of the tongue, you're gonna see Air Max 270 done up there, and that's embroidered with the Nike sign in it as well. On the inside of the shoe is leather that's lined over here. Not sure if you can see that, uh, but that's leather on the collar. And then the last piece of branding that we have is this Air Max 270 that's embroidered right there. And then on the back side, you're going to see the big air mark over there. Moving over to the midsole, you're going to see a dual density foam, which is over here. And that is both hard and soft derm materials. Uh, the reason they do that is to have all day comfort. And finally, the most prominent piece of the Air Max 270 in general is this huge air bubble, which measures at 1.25 inches. It's the largest air bubble put on any shoe. And so this is the biggest part of the Air Max 270. Uh, even the Vapor Max is actually smaller than this. And the way the heel is designed this is actually over here, this plastic piece or rubber piece is, is not exactly part of the air bubble. So if you look at it, it kind of looks like it blends in together, but it actually doesn't. So it's a separate piece altogether and it's a nice hard heel count. So what are my thoughts on the Air Max 270? So the Air Max 270 is probably one of the most comfortable shoes I've bought this year and own. So when it comes down to all day comfort, I really don't think you can actually beat this shoe. It's just extremely comfortable. The way the heel compresses uh, when you step down on it is, is phenomenal. Dual density foam is, is really, really comfortable. It's not the same as Boost or React when you put it on. It's definitely not that same energy return. It's definitely not that same feeling that you would normally get from those types of foams. But the shoe itself is built in a way where you don't need to worry about how comfortable it's going to be. It just kind of fits, right? And it's not the most insanely feeling shoe that you'll ever own, but it works all day, every day, and it's a really, really great go-to shoe. Uh, with this premium model specifically, I really love the design. It just, it just, the panels are really, really nice. The materials are really nice. It's actually surprising how nice the materials are because a lot of times when, when Nike releases premium versions of shoes, um, the paneling as well as the leather itself usually isn't that great. And once I slip these on, these start breaking in pretty quickly because of how soft the leather is. And so I'm really happy with this pair of shoes. I'd say true to size here, if you have wider feet, I still think you would still go true to size, but if you have extremely wide feet, you probably could go a half size up and it's still fine. It's a pretty snug shoe just in general, so I wouldn't worry too much. And that's it guys. There's really not much more to the shoe. It's an extremely comfortable shoe. You should get them if you like the way they look. If not, then you should go after the Air Max 270. You should have one of these in your collection. I just feel like it's worth it for the investment. That's it for the Air Max 270 Premium. 
If you have any questions, definitely leave a comment below and I'll definitely help answer that. But until next time, peace.